everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Table Doctor. The uh, Sony Handycam, the DCR DV650. And this is a uh, hybrid cam that operates both on a DVD record as well as a memory stick. Well, the unit finally arrived and it's in pretty good shape. You know, there's a few scuffs here and there. But overall, the LCD screen is nice. It's in good shape. The uh, lens cover is still functional on that. And you can see that opening and closing. I went down to my local salvage shop for electronics, all things electronics, and I found a battery pack for it. And the guy threw in the charger for it for the grand sum total of three dollars and guess what when I got it home uh, I didn't expect it to fire up and I turned on the power and sure enough nothing happened on it now um, it's not unusual but the but the thing is now what most people would do in a situation where you know they put the power on the handy cam or the electronic device and it doesn't work, it's like, well, that's the end of the line, time to say sayonara to that. I never do that. The thing with about electronic devices and the thing that you have to bear in mind is electronic devices are not just electronic components. Electronic components rarely, rarely wear out. Okay, it's important you know that. But these electronic devices and many electronic devices from stereos to cams and metal detectors, anything that you look at has what we call a mechanical or several mechanical interfaces to it. In this particular case, you can see that the LCD screen is on a hinge. That can go bad. It's going to go bad far faster than electronics. And you know, there's, there's operational buttons and knobs to be turned here. And what's interesting also is this battery pack, how many times do you think in the life of this Sony Handycam, how many times do you think this battery pack has been switched on and off to, uh, to take it off to charge it? I'd say probably a couple hundred times. And you know what? That's another mechanical interface. So the first thing I do when I'm trying to repair an electronic device is I don't freak out. I go ahead and start pushing here and there. Yes, pushing on the device to see if fiddling or pushing on the knobs or pushing something in mechanical gets something to happen. And in the case of this, when I turned it to on and I started pushing the battery pack around, hey, guess what happens? The device fired up. Now how many people when they play with their battery pack and things are going to know that, hey, I've just put this on one too many times and the thing is worn out, right? Okay, so it should be an easy fix. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to try to fix it here. What I'm going to do is remove the battery pack from the back and I will actually take two or three rubber bands and I will sit them I won't, a, a lot of people will make the mistake of fiddling with the metal if you look up here you'll see the metal uh, polarity strips for the battery in the back and a lot of people will make the mistake of starting to pull on those tabs and everything well you're going to be in a world of hurt because if you snap one of those tabs off you're looking at rewiring on the inside of this camera and you know what it's not worth it what we're trying to do here is put something on the back of the battery pack that, ha that will be able to be compressed. And what's easily compressible is a few rubber bands. So um, I'm going to sit this down. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the battery pack. And if I'm successful, I'm going to have an operational cam. So I'm actually going to sit this down for a second. And I'm going to take the battery pack, slide it up the back, and we're going to try to power that on, on the on mode there. 
and it might take a second. Usually I have to uh, put the rubber bands one on top of the other, but I have them pressed down now. And I do have that on the on mode there. And that is compressed down. And guess what? We now have power to the handy cam. And you know what? All we did was slide a few rubber bands between the power pack bay base and the power pack itself. Just enough compression to help that go in and make contact with those pins. So, once again, for $22, we now have an optically beautiful Sony Handycam. I'm not sure what the quality is, you know what, but I'm going to take this down to Dr. Beck's office today. I do have an appointment in San Mateo, and I'm going to give this a trial test. I have a 4 gigabit memory stick that I've had around here forever. So for the grand total of less than $30, we're going to see what we get here with a rechargeable unit. And I'm guessing we're going to get some beautiful, beautiful pictures here. So there we go. We'll open the front shutter here. And you can see that through the viewfinder right there. Pretty cool, huh? So we're going to take this out on the road today. And this is, this is what I call one of these win-win situations. And this is why I absolutely love repairing electrical products because it's rarely the electricals that fail. It's usually the electronic interface. And in this particular case, it's often the interface between the power and the base unit. So hang with me. Thanks for watching Kitchen Table Doctor, the hand, Sony Handycam Edition. And we'll be taking this baby out for some test uh, test footage today. So you'll be able to compare, compared to my General Electric uh, unit that I'm using here, a photo video combo. Okay, everybody, Rosie's saying have a good day. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the road, okay? And be good.